Nothing has changed since head of the Islamic Front, Umar Abdullah, met with the minister in the office of the Prime Minister, Stuart Young, about the five men detained in Venezuela. Mr. Abdullah says the judge has since issued a compliance order to Siam to pick up and receive the nationals, but this has not been done. Mahalia Joseph has more. Even though Mr. Abdullah received some assurances from Minister in the Office of the Prime Minister Stuart Young last Friday, they are yet to receive an update. He said the situation in Venezuela is very volatile and our nationals are at risk. Mr. Abdullah said the need to get the nationals back home is a matter of high priority. Maduro don't care anything about um, process. He does not care anything about law. He does not care anything about protocol. Uh, this man mm, just does anything that he pleases, and 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 that is the that is the the the, the main crux of the matter. I am going to take um, uh, all the necessary measures and all the necessary steps to have this matter um, full blown and explode, inshallah. He says the longer they are there, the more at risk they are. I am prepared. Um, like I've said before, to go back in front of the, the, the parliament. And this time I'm not going to be requesting to meet anybody. I'm going to go there, I'm going to remain there, and uh, we are going to uh, speak on, on a number of things as regards to this situation um, uh, with our nationals there in Venezuela. And I only hope the country at that point in time will be able to withstand the, the, the shocking news that that would be told to them at that point in time. Meanwhile, Attorney General Faris al Rawi said the nature of the convictions must be examined. The responsibility on the office of the Attorney General is to be clear as to the effect of the judicial decision in the Bolivian Republic of Venezuela. Once we have received all of the information as to the judicial process, the findings, the evidence, etc., we'll be able to consider what the position is in relation to our own laws. He said requests for the documents from Venezuela have been made. Obviously, it's a matter of deep concern, allegations of espionage and terrorism. Trinidad and Tobago, I can tell you, came in for very strong comment by all of our international observers that we have an allegation of having a very high per capita ratio of foreign terrorist fighters. Mr. Abdullah, meantime, said it's time for the group to mobilize and stand up for what is the truth. Mahalia Joseph, C News.